Massachusetts, the moment we've been waiting two plus years for is finally here. Well, the moment 53 or so percent of us have been waiting for anyway. Tomorrow, the first two recreational pot shops in the state and the first east of the Mississippi will open for business in Northampton and Leicester. And it's been a long time coming. Retail outlets were supposed to open this past January. But just a month after the 2016 election, a handful of lawmakers voted in a closed-door session to push back the rollout to July of this year. Here was my assessment of the situation back in 2017. I, for one, am not holding my breath. And I'm glad I didn't, seeing as we're more than nine months behind schedule, well over two years and another major election since 1.7 million voters in the state said yes to legal weed. And even now, the opening of two shops doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be smooth smoking from here on out. Because while U.S. Attorney Andrew Lelling says he has no current plans to prosecute the recreational marketplace, as you know, marijuana is still illegal at the federal level, so it's a cash-only business. Already dozens of Massachusetts cities and towns have also voted to keep pot shops out. Using a local control option, the legislature passed last July in a second rewrite of the voters' will. In fact, state lawmakers really fought marijuana reform at every step of the way. They failed to act on decriminalization in 2008, forcing the people to pass a ballot question, making pot possession a misdemeanor instead of a felony. They failed to act on legalization of even medical marijuana in 2012, forcing the people to pass another ballot question, and then took two long years before fully implementing the voters' mandate there. And, of course, they failed to act on recreational legalization, forcing a third ballot question in 2016, which created legislation lawmakers had the goal to amend just one month later. Now, if state officials had a problem with what the public did, they should have written the law themselves before the voters did. But after all that, the day is finally here. And picking up a joint or an edible on the way home from work tomorrow will be just the same as making a run to the local packy. Just don't forget your ID, because by the president's account... You'll need that for your munchies, too. You know, if you go out and you want to buy groceries, you need a picture on a card. You need ID. That's just Donald Trump doing what some of you, I'm sure, will be doing tomorrow, blowing smoke.